Before we started, we just cut out some simple heart stencils. drop it in there so each of you can use maybe four or five drops okay so if you use too much we'll run out of food coloring pick a skewer or a toothpick and you have to keep it straight up like this and you start swirling it can you move kind of over the oh I guess you can still see it right you can do it that way you can also do it this way when you make patterns that go like that or like this and the other way, you can make a star, right? Okay, so let me show you what this looks like. You print it. So you get your piece of paper. You press oh, it that's down. Nice. That I but when you take it off, there's shaving cream all over it. And it looks like it's ruined. <laughs> so, it's not very flat, but when you take a ruler and you scrape all of the shaving cream off. And the more careful you are, the less this will happen. Oh, man. And you should wear gloves because the food coloring stains your hands. Okay, so now we mixed all the colors together. You can keep reusing your shaving cream. I'm sure I've got some kind of Valentine color in here. This doesn't look like pink. No, just blue. Go right back. So I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be for my heart. Just swirling it. <coughs> you guys get to do it after this, okay? <coughs> so you can either use these as a stencil and put it on there like that and print it, or you can use this and print it as a whole shape like that. So I'm gonna use. Do you want this one? Okay, I think this one looks cool too. So, and you can only do it once unless you use transparency paper. So you press it down your paper on it. You don't want it to move around a lot. And then you lift it up. And this is where you have to be really careful. So take the shaving cream off. You want to move in towards it like that. Instead of scraping it that way, it'll like bring the color over it. Put that there wherever you want it to design is that you really like moving it around. Okay, now just set it there lightly. Now you're going to press your printing paper just right over the top. Just don't slide it around. Just put it right down on top of it. You're going to press it down in the middle until you can see the colors coming through. This is a more advanced print I made using a stencil from spraypaintstencils.com, I think. This is also an Andy Warhol print I made. And following, you're gonna see some prints that are made for Valentine's Day. So I cut out my prints and made them into the flower and then just framed them. So have fun with this project and I hope you have a happy Valentine's Day.